I'm getting a haircut, so stop it. You look really good. Mm, I look really gross. No, you look really good. What's up, guys? So today's going to be an educational video. I haven't made one of these in a very long time, so I hope you enjoy this. I'm FTM transgender. If you don't know that by now, fucking stupid. I've been taking testosterone patches this summer. It's June or July. I forget when I took tea. I have to look it up. When we went five years on tea, I've taken tea injections pretty much up until four months ago. Then I switched to these because I was just kind of sick of doing needles. I don't know. It was just annoying to me. I'm going to get into these right now and the difference between these and injections in my experiences because I actually have gone through quite a little bit of differences. You know, if you haven't started tea and you want to start it, this is going to help you out. Or if you've been on tea and you want to switch from patches to injections or injections to patches and stuff like that this will help you a lot but everyone's different so i was taking tea injections and i was using this needle i'll show you guys video footage i'll put it over right now i was using this needle honestly you can use different size needles like if you take a look at this one it's extremely small this is the one i used because i was just kidding. I mean, I, I'm not like the biggest fan of needles, but I also don't hate them. But I mean, this, in my opinion, was easier. I also like to do it subcutaneous because that's just my preference. Everyone has different preferences. Subcutaneous is in the fat and intramuscular is in the muscle. With that, you would use a longer needle, but I like to do it in the fat of the leg. This is how much I took. It was 0.25 of a whole ml. You know, some people take one ml every few weeks or every week even but i took 0.25 ml once a week the normal dose i hear is 0.5 then i decided to switch to these this is anjoderm they are 4 mg per day if you haven't watched my old video about this i'll link it in the description if you want to watch that first because i did talk about the side effects and all that stuff of this when you take patches you do it every day when you take testosterone shots you do it once a week um every two weeks every month it, it all depends now i've experienced a little bit of different things while being on these patches if you take a look at the directions on Androderm, I'll show you a little clip of that too. There's different areas of the body that you can put the patches on. So the gray areas are those areas. You can put it on the thighs, you can put it on the stomach, you can put it on the upper arms or the back. What I find the best is the upper arms and the back. I cannot put it on my thighs and my stomach because it's way too itchy. I'm going to tell you the process of what I went through with the patch. Oh my god, my hair literally looks like a fucking dead animal. When I first started patches, I put it right when I put it on, I could feel that it burnt a little bit. Like, it, it was burning for the first couple of hours. And then, it, whatever, like, I couldn't even tell that the patch was there. It was fine, blah, blah, blah. Changed it the next day. So that happened for, like, the first couple of weeks. And then after that, when I put the patch on, it didn't burn, and it didn't itch at all in the places that I put it in. So I was like, oh shit, like, this is really cool. This is good. Then, and this is present day, when I put the patch on now, it doesn't burn or anything, but it gets very, very itchy certain times. Like when it's coming to the end and me to get a new patch, it gets really itchy or even in the middle of the process because you're supposed to wear it for 24 hours. So like 10 hours go by, like the whole day goes by and then it starts getting really, really itchy. And that happens in certain areas. It mainly happens on my back. It happened on my thigh and my stomach, so I don't really use it there at all. But on the upper arms is where it itches the least. I take a patch off and there's a little red mark. The skin, it kind of like flakes a little bit there because it's been fucked up with whatever the hell androderm is. It's itchy for a couple of days and it's really, really irritating and it's just, it's annoying because the redness stays there for like a week. It takes a really long time for things to heal in my body. So I don't know if that's why or if it's just because of like, you know, that's what happens. I don't like that about patches. Um, I don't like the fact that you have to change it every day. This sounds stupid, but I feel like it hurts more to take off a tea patch than it does to stab yourself with a needle. Cause I, you can't, like, I can't even like feel the needle half the time. Like very rarely will I ever feel the needle go into my leg when I used to take tea. Taking off this patch, oh fuck. Taking off this patch sometimes hurts so bad cause it won't come off cause it's so sticky. And like, it's not excruciating pain. Neither of these are excruciating pain. Like I'm, I'm just telling you that it hurts a little tiny bit. Taking the patches for me has definitely lowered my testosterone levels. I have not gotten them done yet, but at the doctor, but I'm probably gonna get them done like really, really soon. My tea levels were at normal, but I feel like they're definitely lower because this is a little bit personal, but I haven't, I haven't had like a hysterectomy yet. And what that is, is like taking out like the woman inside thing, whatever. I felt a lot of like cramping stuff which is not, I've never felt that in like years and years and years. So I started to feel that on these, like bad. And I was like, ugh. And that's how we could tell that my T levels are lower because why would that happen if my T levels weren't lower? So these have definitely, they're not giving me as much tea as my injection did. That's, that's my point, which I don't like because that makes me feel extremely fucking shitty about myself. That's the main thing that I notice on patches is I feel like my T levels are definitely lower. And I'm pretty sure this is the highest patch you can get is 4 mg per day. They have like 2 mg per day, but I might just need a lot more testosterone than some people. Because like I said, everyone's different. So 
patches I'm not gonna stick with them for a long time. They are not the worst thing in the world. Like they are, they're good. They're still giving you your testosterone. You still get that stuff. If I had to pick between the two, I would say shots are definitely more effective and they're better and they're just more convenient. The patches might keep the level steady. I haven't gotten my blood yet, so I don't know my levels. They probably keep it more steady than the shots because it's every single day as opposed to like once a week or once every two weeks. So if you do have questions about anything testosterone related, you can ask me below. I'll answer them. I'll help you. And if I don't answer, I'm sure another trans guy will answer and help you too. But I love you guys and I will see you on Wednesday. Peace.